Recently, I discovered that Framer, a website builder tool, has integrated AI to build your website with just one single prompt. The real question is, is it any good and are you actually going to use this? In this video, I'm going to test it out by giving it five prompts and we're gonna see exactly what it has produced. Click on start with AI. I'm gonna enter in my first prompt, which is a prompt about starting a website for a marketing agency. And I'm gonna ask it to create an about us page, contact page, and a service page all on the landing page. The services that I'm adding are ad managing, content production, social media management, and the main focus should be to get the visitors to book a call. Let's see what it creates. That's pretty funny with the, the rockets and the emojis in there. Um, off the bat, you can change the palette color. So if you want to change to anything else, you can just click on this and it will shuffle automatically between the colors. You can also change the font. For example, right now, if I can click on this one, it will change the font while it's still generating this website. And that's pretty good. It also is showing us the services. So let me see what it is. $50 a month for the turbocharge, $100 a month for supersonic. So it basically has done like an all-in-one package and not like separate services. You have some reviews in here. And here you have the copyright section. So that's a pretty short page. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I would have hoped that it added a bit more elements to this website because I think this is very generic and very basic, but it is responsive. Like as you can see, it has done this for the phone and for the tablet as well. But let's see what it can create with another prompt. Okay, so I got a new prompt right here, a landing page for an organization that's called Save the Planet. This organizations save a plans one tree for every sign up that they get so it's like a landing page that is about getting someone's email address um, the website slogan is sign up to plant one tree the website should explain the importance of saving trees and replanting new ones and should also be focused around gathering their emails so hopefully this one understands the prompt Okay, so this one looks pretty good. It has given it a green theme, which is pretty suitable for the topic of this website. Um, I've listed it in the prompt. It's called Save the Planet. And over here, it's calling it Eco Warriors. Um, so let's see these elements in there. They don't really make that much sense to me. Oh, they even have like an FAQ in there. And they have an about a section. Again, like another pretty short website. I'm hoping to see like... A longer website because to me this is pretty short to have as a website that is about getting someone to sign up for your email and even like if we check out you have a sign up section right there and you have a join us section right here okay it's it's not too bad moving on to the next one a travel diary for explorer called james cook um, let's see if it understands what i mean by write blogs uh, about his adventures have some pictures in there and yeah, it's really like a travel journey for someone that's doing a lot of traveling. Hopefully this one looks really good. Okay, so this is our website and I would love to shuffle around to make it a different color. I think this looks better. Um, it's called Diary, James Cook's Diary, Adventures, Gallery, Contact. It seems to get the point a bit more from this one. It even has like the recent Adventures tab. It has done 201 new discoveries, 15 countries explored, 5,000 pictures taken. It has a gallery section in there and you can also enter in your email to stay updated. I, I think this one looks pretty good. I think this is the best one we have so far. Okay, let's try again with another prompt. I think this one must be really easy to create. It's about a restaurant that's called Uncle Louis Burgers. And yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward. It's a restaurant. Uh, it should also add a section where people can enter their email to get a 25% discount. So I'm hoping that the AI understands that and that it puts it into the text as well, not just in the design, but also in the text. Okay, it's it's starting off with Burger Mania. Um, well, that's not the name that we gave it. So it messed up on that one, but let's see what it generates. But let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so here is our website. Um, it's messed up the name. It's called it Burger Mania, but of course we can easily change this. I'm not sure what the 23 is meant to mean. Okay, so here is our website. Um, I have so many questions like, why is it called Burger Mania? What has the 23 to do with this website? And why does it look so bad on a desktop? 
Like on phone, for example, I would say it looks pretty good. On phone, it doesn't look too bad. Like I would maybe even remove this. Let me just check if I can quickly remove this section. Even change the naming of this. Burger Mania. Like this looks better already. I'm not sure why the 23 is in there. Then I like this picture. I would love to see this one in color. Um, you have a section for the unique menu, the prime location, and you have another tab for amazing deals. It included the part where I ask it to add a section where people can sign up so they receive a 25% discount, so that's good. And overall, yeah, it's pretty standard, pretty basic. I mean, for a burger joint, it's all right. Um, but hopefully the last one is better. Okay, so the last one, a landing page for a lawnmower company that is called The Grass is Greener. List their services, prices, and add an FAQ. Uh, I'm curious to see if it can do that. So let's see what it comes up with. This is what it has come up with. So the AI has written a website called Greener. Apparently it didn't get the name again. So this is the slogan that it has created, where lawns are transformed into lush green masterpieces. Um, that sounds pretty good. I'm not sure why there is a electric scooter <laughs> in this part. Um, this looks pretty decent. I, I'm not sure about the the grayscale on this website. Like if it is about grass, I would love to see this picture in color, uh, but you can change that of course. And then it has the basic package and a more premium one, some frequently asked questions. So overall it did design the website I wanted, um, but I would change it a little bit. So that leaves us to the question, is this actually worth it? Well, yes and no. I would use this more for inspiration uh, you can ask to generate a website, but it will do it so with the basic sections of Framer. So for example, if you click on in insert, you can see these sections that it already has. And it's not doing more than that. It's just taking one of these sections that it has right here, and it gives it some text through ChatGPT. Um, same goes for images. The images are also pretty basic, pretty standard. So if you want to have some creativity, then you definitely have to do it yourself. You have to change around with a few things. But in terms of getting started and in terms of getting a landing page like fast and easy, then this is the way to go. If, if you need a website and you're thinking like, what is the best way to do it? Well, this might be one of the best reasons to do it. But overall, in terms of like Framer itself, it's a really great tool for building your website. So the AI feature might not be the best right now, but the tool itself is really, really good for creating your own website. So if you're interested in having a good website builder, check out the links in the description below and get started yourself, play around with it, and I will see you in the next video.